Hello, my name is Eric Richter. I'm from Giro, and I'm here today at Arts Cyclery to talk to you about MIPS technology, otherwise known as the Multi-Directional Impact Protection System, because we believe it's state-of-the-art technology for helmets. MIPS can provide an added measure of protection in some impacts. In order to understand how MIPS works, let's take a look at the technology and what happens in an impact. Two milliseconds, that's fast. It's 10 times faster than the single beat of a hummingbird's wings. It's 100 times faster than the blink of an eye. But during a crash, this moment could be the most important two milliseconds of your life. Although no two crashes are identical, two main types of force, linear and rotational, are related to the majority of brain injuries. Most real-world impacts are actually a combination of both linear and rotational forces. Linear forces occur when your head is moving in a straight line and comes to a sudden stop. Typical helmets are equipped with liners that deform on these impacts and reduce the transfer of energy to the brain. Think of it like a type of second skull. Rotational forces, on the other hand, can occur when your head is struck at an angle and comes to a sudden stop. This can cause the brain to twist within the skull and become injured. The body's primary defense in redirecting these rotational forces is cerebrospinal fluid, which floats between the brain and skull. New helmet technologies, such as slip planes, work in a similar fashion. A slip plane is an extra liner within the helmet that allows the helmet shell to rotate independently around the head during an angled impact, thereby redirecting some of the energy your brain might otherwise experience. It is biomimicry, with the slip plane mimicking cerebrospinal fluid. Here's another way to think of it. Imagine throwing a tennis ball onto gravel. Since there's a good deal of friction between both the ball and the gravel, the tennis ball experiences a high amount of rotational force on impact. Now, if you toss the same ball onto a floor covered in ice, the ball would twist far less. Instead of being directly transferred to the ball, some of the forces are redirected as the ball slips on impact. A slip plane operates on a similar principle. An elastomeric attachment system stretches on impact, allowing the helmet liner to move. How much does it move? Just a couple millimeters. But those few millimeters of rotation during that crucial two milliseconds can reduce the amount of rotational force that may otherwise be transferred to your brain. So that's a quick look at MIPS technology. You can find a wide range of Giro helmets equipped with MIPS technology at artscyclery.com.